Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the concept proportion. What is the proportion? A proportion is an equation that equates two ratios. For example, there are two ratios a as to b and c as to d. This can be written as a by b equal to c by d. For example, the ratio of pen and notebook is three as to two. That means uh, for every three pens, there are two notebooks. Now the another example is suppose the ratio of pen and notebook is six by four. That means for every six notebooks, for every six pen, there are total four notebooks. So we have a proportion three by two equal to six by four. Now we study the properties of proportion. Suppose three by two equal to six by four. Though then this can be written as then this can be written as three into four equal to twelve and six into two equal to twelve. So ultimately we get here three into four is equal to two into six that is equal to twelve. This is called as cross product property. Let us study in general. For any numbers a, b, c, d, we can write a by b equal to c by d. That means we can write here a d equal to b into c. Now reciprocal property. Suppose we have three by two equal to six by four. Then we can write here two by three equal to six by four. This is called as reciprocal. The first part is this is three by two, and here it is. 2 by 3. This can be written as 1 divided by 3 by 2 is equal to 1 divided by 6 by 4. After simplifying this, we get here 2 by 3 equal to 4 by 6. This is called as reciprocal property. Let us solve one example. Suppose We have five by two equal to x by four. Then we can find out the value of x. Just use the cross product property. That means five into four is equal to two into x. So we can write here five into four is equal to two into x. After simplifying this, we get here twenty equal to two into x. After solving this, we get here x equal to twenty divided by two. That is equal to ten. So we get here the value of x equal to ten. That means five by two can be written as ten by four. Let us solve another example. Let us solve another example. Suppose we have five by two equal to eight by x. Then we can find the value of x. Just use the cross product property. That means five into x is equal to 8 into 2, 8 into 2. That means we get here 5x equal to 16. That means x equal to 16 divided by 5. This is the value of x. Suppose we have 5 divides x minus 1 equal to 3 by x. Then we can find the value of x. We can use here reciprocal property. So we can write down this as 1 divided. Five divided six minus one is equal to one divided three divided six. So simply we can write this as x minus one divided by five is equal to x divided by three. Now we can use cross product property. So we get here three into x minus one is equal to five into x. So we get here three x minus three is equal to five x. After solving these, we get here three x plus five x is equal to three. That means eight x equal to three, which implies that x equal to three by eight. So the value of x is three by eight.